Welcome to GetYourNEC.Scot. This video is aimed at anyone applying for 60 plus concessionary travel. Bear in mind you can apply for the card up to two weeks before your 60th birthday, not any earlier. We'll now show you how you can use GetYourNEC.Scot for the application process. On the home page, click on Apply Now underneath 60 plus concessionary travel. Once you've read the short introduction, click on Get Started. You'll now be asked a few simple questions. I'll confirm that I'm applying for myself, that I live in Scotland, I'm over 60 years old, and I do not have a disability. If you do have a disability, you are better off applying for a 60 plus concession unless you're eligible for the plus one disabled concessionary travel. There is a different video available for disabled applications. You'll now see a list of what you'll need for the application process. You will need a MyGovScot to My account to sign in. If you don't have a My account, you can register at the same time. You'll also need to upload proof of your own identity and address. The easiest option is a Yachty account, which is an app you can use to prove your identity online. For more information about that, please go to yachty.com or look for the app in your mobile phone's app store. The next easiest proof is a driving license photo card, as it proves both your identity and your address. However, if you don't have one, you'll need a passport or a biometric residence permit. If you use a passport or a residence permit, you'll also be prompted to upload a proof of address document, which needs to be dated within the past three months. If you don't have any of those, don't worry, you can contact your local council and they can offer another application method. You will also need a suitable photo to be printed on the front of the card. It has to be as close to a passport style photo as possible. Photos of photos or photos of your passport photo will be rejected. Let's get started and now click on apply now. On the next screen, sign in with your My account. If you do not have one, you also have the option to register. You'll now be shown your details from your My Account. The My Account needs to be in your name. You can't sign in using someone else's My Account or your application will be rejected. These details need to match your proof of identity and address documents. If the details are out of date, for example, you've moved house, you'll need to update them on the My Account site before continuing with your application. If they're correct, click on Yes, Continue. Next, please select which option you will use to prove your own identity. For this video, I'll select Driving Licence and then click on Verify Identification. You're now going to start a process to take photos of your licence as well as a quick scan of your face. That's required to check that the photo on the document matches the face scan. When prompted, take a photo of the front and back of your driving license. Make sure the photo is clear and there are no shadows on the image, otherwise you'll be asked to try again. If you don't have a driving license and you use a passport, you'll also need to upload proof of your address as well, for example a bank statement. If you're using a smartphone to apply, you'll be able to take photos of your address proof as you go through the process. If you're using a laptop or computer, you'll need to save files of your proof of address. Now we need to verify that the license belongs to the same person who's applying, so you now need to do a quick face scan. There's a really short video showing you what's involved. Click on Start Scan to get started and just follow the instructions. Frame your face on the oval and follow the instructions. You'll now be asked if you have an existing card. For this video, I'll select no, but if you do have a card and you know the card number, select yes and enter the card number when prompted. You'll now see the card options available to you. As I want an over 60s bus pass, I'll just click on continue. Next, upload a suitable photo to be printed on the front of your card. It needs to be as close as possible to a passport style photo. Don't take a photo of an existing photo or a photo of your passport photo page. Ask someone to take a photo of your head and shoulders while in front of a white wall. Click on choose file and once you've selected the photo you wish to use, you'll be able to check it on screen. 
click in the box to confirm that the photo is suitable for the card and click on confirm and upload. Once successfully uploaded, click on continue. At the review stage, carefully check all the details are correct. If not, feel free to go back and edit the details before you submit the application. If the details are correct, click on continue. Check the terms and conditions, tick the box and click on submit my application. The card application will be reviewed within 10 working days. You'll receive an email to confirm whether the application has been approved or rejected. If approved, the new card will be delivered to the address shown on screen. You also have the option to track your application. You'll be able to see if it's showing as submitted, approved or rejected. If it has been rejected, you will receive an email, but you can also read the rejection reason on the track application page. Bear in mind, if you lose your card and none of your details or photo requires updating, it's quicker to call your local council to request a replacement card rather than submitting a new online application. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you find it useful.